Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be discussing LCD, like lowest common denominator. How to find the lowest common denominator out of a bunch of fractions. And let's get on with our first example. Let's say we want to find the lowest common denominator of these three fractions. What do we do? Now, first of all, you have to find out the LCM of the denominators. In this case, in these three fractions, you have uh, you want to find out the LCM of 6, 3, and 4. So let's start to find the LCM. Okay? So if you've never actually done an LCM before, you can actually learn how to do it right now. Now, 6, we have 6, 3, and 4. Now, the thing you, uh, for finding an LCM is to find a number which can divide the maximum amount of numbers over here. Now, in this case, it's going to be, let's say we choose a number 2. Okay, we're going to choose a number 3. I made this <laughs> quite a long time ago. So let's say we choose the number 3. Now 3 can divide, uh, now 3 can get uh, help us get rid of 6 and 3. Now let's actually see how it does that. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So we write 2 over here. And 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So we write 1 over here. And now we can't actually properly divide 4. So we're just going to leave it there and we're going to move on ahead. So now we're going to use the number 2. Because 2 can divide uh, 2 can get help us get rid of 2 and 4. Now 1 can stay untouched. Now 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So 1 can stay as it is. And 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So we can actually again use 2, right? So you can we can again use 2. And we're going to actually find out how to find the LCM. But this is the first procedure in trying to find that out. So we're again you're going to use 2. 1 is going to stay untouched. And 1 again we're going not going to we're not going to touch it. We're going to just let it flow down, and we're going to say that 2 times uh, 1 is equal to 2, right? So, now what do we do? Now, to find the LCM, you have to multiply all the three numbers that you see on the left-hand side, which are 3, 2, and 2. 3 times 2 times 2. What is 2 times 2? It is equal to 4. What is 3 times 4? That is equal to 12. So, this is the LCM. 12 is the LCM. Now. You might say that this is the LCM, but we wanted the LCD, but oh wait, wait just a second. What we're actually going to do to find, um, to, to find, uh, now actually, the LCD, as I previously said, is uh, it is the LCM of the denominator. So this is actually the LC, you can call it the LCM, you can call it the LCD. Now, the main thing now is we have to make all of the denominators equal to 12. Now, how do you make the first one equal to 12? How do you make 6 equal to 12? You multiply it with 2, right? So again, on the next hand side, we have 3, right? So how do you make 3? How do you make 3 equal to 12? You multiply it with 4. And how do you make 4 equal to 12? Multiply it with 3. Now, this is how you're actually going to make all of them equal in a way that you can actually do something with them. In this situation, you can't even add them properly, right? Without using a calculator. You can't. I can't. I can't do that. We have to make them properly common. Let's actually do that. We take the first example. Uh, we take the first fraction, multiply it with two, like we have, like we previously discussed, and we're going to multiply the denominator as well as the numerator, right? So, what is three times two is going to be equal to six. Now, we're doing this because we're not. We don't want to actually change the values. We don't want to change the actual values of three by six, right? Because what we're doing here is literally nothing because 2 can be divided by 2 like 2 can be cancelled out by 2 over here and what remains is 3 by 6 but we're slightly just modifying 3 by 6 to make it into 6 by 12 so that it's easier for us to modify it later but 6 by 12 is equal to 3 by 6 if we just take out the 2's okay so we don't need to worry about that now let's take the second um, okay, yes, we made 6 by 12 equal to 6 by 12. Now, let's take the second fraction, 2 by 3. We're going to multiply it with 4, as we previously discussed. Uh, numerator and denominator. 2 by 4 is equal to 8. On the upper hand side, if 4 by 3 is equal to 12. We put that in there. Now, let's take the third example. Now, the third, four, the third fraction, 3 by 4, multiply it with 3, as we, as we previously discussed. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. I put it there, and now you can actually see that all the bases are um, in 12s, right? All the bases are in 12. You can add them, you can subtract them. 
for example I want to add them I can add them 6 by 12 add it to 8 by 12 now what we actually do is but actually wait uh, so you what you actually do is um, you 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 write the denominator as it is and you take the numerator and you just say the 6 added to 8 is 6 um, 6 times 2 is 12 13 14 so it's it, uh, it's going to be 14 divided by 12 or something but you can now have the you can now have the opportunity to add them or subtract them okay that's all there is to finding the LCMs uh, and uh, yeah and I really hope you learned something